Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're going to be checking out Salifert's Silica Test Kit. In this video, I'm going to touch on why you'd want to test for silicate in your reef tank, what's included in the kit, and I'll walk you through how to perform this simple and affordable test. First off, why would you want to test for silica in your reef tank? Silicate or silica is an important nutrient for a number of organisms in our reefs, but most notoriously it is known to fuel the growth of diatoms, which is a rusty brown algae that can coat the sand, rockwork, and other surfaces in our reef tanks and is often part of the ugly phase when starting a new reef aquarium. However, it is also a very important nutrient for mollusks like snails that require silica to constantly regrow their raspy toothy bits called radula that they use to scrape algae off of the rocks and glass and also for sponges that use silicate to build the spicules that allow them to keep their rigid form. So while some reefers are likely to find themselves looking for a silica test kit if they are battling a dino outbreak, other reefers are going to want to monitor silicate just to make sure that there's enough in their aquarium for their ornamental sponges, snails, and other silica dependent organisms without blindly dosing and going overboard. Salifert's silica test kit is inexpensive and easy to perform and it can read silica as low as 0.03 ppm all the way up to 15 ppm. In the box you'll find reagent 1, reagent 2, and reagent 3, a scoop, a 1 milliliter syringe, the test vial, the color chart, and the instructions with a quick reference guide. To perform the test, first collect one milliliter of sample water from the aquarium using the one milliliter syringe and add it to the test vial. Then holding the bottle completely vertical, add four drops of SI1 to the vial and then swirl the vial gently for 10 seconds. Next, set a five minute timer and wait. Once that timer ends, add one level scoop of SI3 to the vial and then swirl the vial for 20 seconds to dissolve the powder. Finally, compare the vial to the color chart by holding the vial against the white portion of the chart. The color it matches closest to is the reading of silicate in ppm or milligrams per liter. If the reading is higher than 3 ppm, to get that high range reading, you can lay the color chart flat and place the vial so it is standing on the chart and then look down from above to match the color. Once you find the correct color, take the corresponding value and multiply it by five. For example, a reading of 0.03 on the chart multiplied by 5 would be 0.15 ppm. A reading of 0.5 on the chart would be 2.5 ppm, and a reading of 3 on the chart would be 15 ppm. If you do find that the silica level in your reef tank is too low for your inhabitants, there are products to safely raise the silica level in your reef tank, like Brightwell's Sponge Excel, if the demand in your reef tank is quite high, or by increasing the frequency of water changes using a high quality reef salt mix containing natural levels of trace elements. This test kit will perform up to 60 tests, working out to roughly 27 cents per test and should last the average reefer just over a year of weekly testing. And if this Salifert silica test kit fits your reefing mantra, you can pick one up for yourself by clicking right here. 